I see you wherever I go and you don't even know Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now, I know this is a little weird. I'm in my car doing this video with you guys. Um, I'm actually on like a little bit of a break so I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on with my ear um, as most of you guys know I lost my hearing about a week ago I had this like excruciating pain my ear popped and then it just like went to where I couldn't hear anything. I had my mother-in-law um, look into it to see what was going on and she said that it looked like my eardrum had ruptured. Or what she thought that my ear looked like. I had like so much pressure. So like here, my pressure was here, the pressure was all here and then here and still hearing ringing in my ear and then you know how when your body part like gets hurt and they feel like the heartbeat that's what my ear felt like so on tuesday i went to the ent which is the ear nose and throat doctor get there explain what has been happening how long i've been having these issues and the guy immediately does not even listen so not only is this video gonna be a letting you know what's going on with my ear, but also just to kind of throw a little shade at the doctor who I've been working with because he's an asshole. You know, I understand that you've been doing this type of work for years and you're really good at your job, but for a person who has extreme ear pain, not really sure what's going on, I know something's wrong, I've never felt this type of pain before. And for you to like not even listen or disregard what I'm saying to you pisses me off. You know, I tell the nurse the same thing. I have like this ear pain. There's uh, a lot of pressure. I can't hear out of my ear, everything like that. He says, oh, it's probably a jaw issue. I see it all the time. Do you grind your teeth? Are you stressed lately? And I'm like, no. And he's like, do you grind your teeth? I'm like, not that I know of. And he's like, okay, well, normally people who have ear issues or like severe ear pain pressure, it's because you grind your teeth. I've never heard of that, okay? Not once. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you went to medical school. I did not. But I've never heard of anybody telling me that because I grind my teeth at night, that's gonna cause enough pressure in my ear to where my ear drug could possibly be ruptured or the fact of me losing hearing. If you guys have heard that before, please comment down below because I've never heard of that because I think that was BS. He goes, I can't look into your ear. You definitely have a lot of wax in there. We need to clean it. I'm like, that's strange. And he's like, why? I said, because in December, I got my ear flushed which is like water and peroxide, I guess, that you flush into your ear to help with the uh, cleaning of your eardrum and getting most of the wax out. I had that done the last week of December. So that we're in March now, so that's maybe three months. So I should not be full of earwax, I guess. He does it, he looks at it, and he goes, yeah, I still just think it's an, a jaw issue. But we're gonna take you over to the hearing test. They're gonna run a hearing test and then we'll see. I go to the lady. She was very nice, very sweet. Understood my concerns that I was dealing with a lot of issues in my ear and that my ear is like highly sensitive right now. Took my ear test. I failed, of course. I failed. He comes back and he goes, oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. There's definitely something wrong with your ear. No shit, Sherlock. I freaking told you that. So then he's like, well, huh, what do we do? And I'm like, I don't know, you're done. And he goes, well, you've already tried your eardrops. Have you tried naproxen? Have you tried this? Have you tried that? And I'm like, oh, now you want to know what I've tried. Yes, here. And I brought everything i mean everything i've ever been treated for for my sinus infection for my ears i literally brought it he could see what i was talking about well i guess we'll just have to do some type of procedure to put a tube in your ear uh-huh that may help with the 
pressure, but you know, you should feel better. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Mind you, he talked so fast, okay, that he had to been on like six cups of coffee. I kept saying, what do you say? So he goes, I'm gonna do a reenactment for you. Okay, yeah, I think because we already gave you eardrops and you've already taken some medication, you might as well just get a tube in there. It's to like a two to three minute process, no problem, I do it all the time. Um, we do a little slit or a hole in your ear, no problem, release some of the pressure, drain out your ear, you're good. Here, sign this. Wow, you didn't even give me time to think. And he goes, come on, sit up on here, no problem, sign this, it's okay. And I'm like, uh, uh, okay, sure, I guess. I've never felt more pressure than being there right now. And I said, okay, so what happens if I decide that I don't want to do the tubes? Oh, well, you can just deal with the ear pressure that you're already dealing with. I mean, you it's up to you. It's your ear. It's not my ear. You can deal with it for the rest of your life. I decide to sign the form. I was not allowed to video this next part that I'm about to tell you. The actual procedure for you guys, it much do is they slit your eardrum and they try to insert a tube in it to where it helps drain out the ear. To where you don't have chronic ear issues. However, the little eardrops that they give you to numb your ear hurts bad, okay? I would never, ever, ever, even on a person that I could not stand, hate, let's just use the word hate, I would never, even to my worst enemy, recommend doing this without some type of anesthesia. I'm a wuss when it comes down to certain things. And when my ear is already inflamed and full of fluid and then you're trying to put pressure already where there's pressure, it don't do well, okay? I was legit screaming bloody murder, crying over the amount of pain. He tries a different tube. The tube won't go in. Every time he does, I cough because you're hitting, I guess, a certain nerve. I'm gonna try a different tube, but I'm gonna try to cut you a little bit more. Make the hole bigger. Maybe that'll help. Moral to this story, don't ever let anybody pressure you into doing something, because I feel like I didn't have enough time to do a little bit more research because I was in so much excruciating pain. He did slit my ear. I do have a hole in my ear right now that does not have a tube. Yes, the pressure has been taken off from here and here, but I still have pressure here and here. My ear has been draining. He said that the hole is going to be there for about um, a week. It takes about a week for it to close up again and then it'll drain for about a week. He didn't ever tell me a pain relief or anything like that, how long it's gonna take for my ear to be unclogged or anything like that. So I officially have to go back March 31st to get the procedure done because to him, I am too sensitive and that I have to be put uh, asleep like he does the babies because that's exactly what he said to me. Well, you know, you're just too sensitive and every time I try to get to your ear canal or your eardrum, you just keep crying and screaming. And the last thing I really want to do is cause you pain, but I'm very surprised because you shouldn't even feel it because those eardrops are supposed to work to where you don't feel anything. I felt every last thing. And you know, it's just a hassle because um, it's like a two minute procedure now gone into 15 to 20 minutes because we gotta set up and we gotta get you to sleep and then we gotta wake you back up. I don't care what you have to do. You gotta put a tube in my ear, you need to put me to sleep, then put my ass to sleep. Cause I ain't doing that shit again. But I will say the one last thing that pissed me off about this whole experience. When he was done flushing my ear, he's like, it's fine, you're good, you're good. I'm like, no. So my mother-in-law spoke up for me and was like, she needs a minute. She's dizzy, she's feeling dizzy. Give her a minute. I understand the whole situation of what's going on right now in the world. And I understand that they honestly probably didn't even want to be there. And they said that they were taking emergencies. Well, to me, this was an emergency because I was not able to hear for a whole week. 
and I had severe pressure that entire time, if not longer. And I tried to hold out as long as I could. But when I, you get up and you start crying every second because the sheer pain and the pressure that's already going on your ear and your head and your nose and your jaw, there's an issue. And then I had like this shooting pain. It was like a burst of shooting pain, like from my teeth and my jaw. And then it's almost like that feeling like when you eat something sour and you're like, woo, that's how it felt, but like times 10. I may be a baby ENT specialist out there, but I just felt customer service was not there when I'm already scared being here. I don't know what's going on with my ear. I'm worried about me possibly losing uh, my hearing because my hearing was off and then trying to get some type of resolution or somebody to just understand where I was coming from made me really upset. It makes me never ever want to recommend them to anybody. But that is it you guys. I will keep you posted. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! You are the stranger in the